Welcome to this video. Uh, and we usually start off with these of me just talking directly to the camera with nothing else. But in this case, we're showing off the new AI driving instructor in the Z1 Analyzer, uh, and it really should take center stage uh, as opposed to me just talking about things. So this is um, a lap being played back in the um, Z1 Analyzer using the driving instructor. Uh, and we're at Road America here, uh, driving in this case a, a Cayman GT4 in iRacing. And the purpose of this is it looks at your lap uh, and it determines where you can improve um, and shows you those turns and then shows you details on those turns such as driving lines uh, and brake and throttle inputs um, and speeds and gears and things like that basically to make things more visually easy to understand um, because we have obviously all the graphs and everything and all the other analysis tools in the analyzer but showing you it in this fashion it just makes it so much easier to see and especially with the satellite overlay of the map uh, because you can see exactly what you're doing and where you're doing it compared to other objects on the track. Like here you know you go under that bridge and that's where your braking point is. Um, and that you're using a curb here, uh, or you're possibly not using a curb. Um, and then when you're exiting, you're going onto those curbs. Uh, and what are you using as a braking point? Is it the beginning of a curve? Is it some part of the road or whatever it is? Um, so the point of the new analysis tool, um, this driving instructor, is to basically make things easier to understand and help everyone um, get to their potential as quickly as possible. So in this video, we're gonna look at that and we're gonna discuss how the driving instructor works uh, and what it shows you and how it helps you improve. So here we are in the Z1 analyzer with the driving instructor open and a lap loaded. Uh, so the first question is, well, how did we get here? Uh, so first you need to choose the lap you want to uh, look at. So it's just file, open lap, uh, and then you choose your lap from here as you normally would. Uh, and then you wanna make sure that the driving instructor window is open, which is under the analysis driving instructor. And then you get to this window right here. Uh, and remember that the driving instructor feature is a track or pro license option. Uh, if you have the standard license, you can use the driving instructor on one uh, track of your choice in the Z1 analyzer. And if you have the demo, you can use it on the Lime Rock Classic track in iRacing. And at the time of recording this video, the driving instructor is for iRacing only, uh, where you are in beta for other sims like ACC and things like that. But uh, check back later because maybe when you're watching this, uh, those sims are also available for the driving instructor. So uh, we are at Brands Hatch Indy, uh, and then you have the view of the track here, um, and the red line, is the line that you drove in the particular lap that you are looking at. Uh, and then you have these three, in this case, circles, uh, the three yellow circles with the exclamation points. So those are turns that the AI analysis has determined you could gain time in. And if you look on the left, you get information here, to pull, you know, your name, the car, your lap time, and then a, a goal lap time. So in this case, I did a 49.144. Uh, and the AI analysis says, well, there's a 48.6 available if you are able to fix a couple of things. Um, and then you can choose down here, you know, how many turns do you want to have advice for, um, pedal advice speed. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, and then how much, how much time should you gain in a turn for it to talk about it? Um, and in this case, I'm just saying, if I gain at least a tenth of a second, I want to know about it. Uh, and you can change this anything up to one second. Uh, and the higher that is, the fewer turns you'll have available to look at. And then down here uh, at the bottom left, this is basically a thumbnail of the track. So as you zoom in and move around the track, you'll see the thumbnail um, moves around. So you know where you are on the track. You can see you're right here. And then as everything else, just double click and it zooms back out to the whole track map. So what do you do now? Well, obviously you want to see the lap uh, being played back and you want to see where you can improve. So I'm gonna hit the play button at the top left here uh, and the lap starts to get played and it zooms in so you can see the detail. Uh, and then you see a representation of the car driving around the track uh, and um, you can see the throttle and the brake inputs and the G-forces on the car uh, and the steering inputs as well. So now it gets to the first place where we're identified this is somewhere where you could gain some time. Uh, and then you get here on the left, uh, the advice for this particular turn. And it says, well, you can gain two tenths of a second in this turn. 
Uh, and then the general thing is that you should work on improving your line through the turn. Uh, for if every corner that you're going to get advice on, it's going to break it up into three sections. It's going to be the corner entry, which is here, the mid corner, which is kind of like the apex, uh, and then the corner exit. Um, and then each of those, uh, you can see the line and whether you were good with the line or you could use improvement uh, and braking and throttle inputs to see how you're doing on that. So you can click any of these buttons here, the show line or show pedals, to get uh, the feedback on you know, how you're doing uh, and how you can you know, possibly improve on what you're doing. So when I look at this uh, here, it says in the corner entry, I can gain you know, two or three tenths. Uh, in the mid corner, I'm doing pretty well, so I'm not really going to worry about that. Uh, and in the corner, uh, corner exit, I'm also doing pretty well, but I could improve my line uh, here. And sometimes the corner exit, the time on the exit might be fine, but if your line is off, it could be influencing, some, influencing something farther down, like the next turn. So we are going to go down to corner exit, and it says, you know, improving your line should be the main priority here. So I'm going to click show line to see what my line is, uh, and what a better line could be. So I'm going to click show line and the map will zoom out and it shows you here the red line is what I'm doing and a blue line here is a better option. Uh, and you can zoom in and out to you know, uh, get more detail on this. So as you can see, you know, I'm starting approximately the same place but I am not tracking out nearly as far as I could. I can go out here all the way onto this curbing um, and I'm not doing that. So if I do that, that's going to give me, you know, a better exit and possibly set me up better for the next turn. Um, and then as I get up here, you can see I'm staying farther to the left as opposed to the optimal line. The blue one is moving over to the right a bit. Um, and again, if you think about the following corner, this is probably going to set you up better for the next corner. Even though I'm not gaining much time in this turn, the following turn is going to be impacted. So let's move on to um, the next turn. And it continues by clicking play. Uh, and the lap continues around until we get to the following turn, which also had advice on it. Uh, so right here, uh, and this is saying that I could gain another couple of tenths in this turn. Uh, and its main advice was I should work on improving my line through the turn. Uh, and again, if I look at the entry, the middle part and the exit, um, for the entry, improving my line should be my main priority. Um, breaking is good, but it could be better. Uh, and then in the middle, I'm pretty good here. You know, line is fine. Throttle use is pretty good, um, and in the end, uh, again, you know, the line is, is pretty decent, maybe a little bit better, um, and then throttle is great as well. So we're going to look at the beginning here. We can look at both the braking uh, and also at the line. Uh, so first, let's look at the line again, and then we have the same thing where the red line is what I'm doing and the blue line is a better option. Now, if you remember from the previous turn when we exited, it suggested that we, were move, we should move farther over to the right sooner than we did. Um, and then you can see with the blue line that being over to the right gives us a better angle into this turn than kind of coming from the middle and then moving over to the right and back. So this kind of slows you down a little bit. Um, so that's why it suggests, you know, staying out to the right more. Um, and you get right up against this curb, you know, right here, there's a curb here. Um, get right up against that uh, and use it. And you can see, you know, where the brake markers are and things like that as other references. Uh, it also said that our braking is good, but could be improved. So we click show pedals uh, and we get on the right here this overlay and then we get here um, the track map and what we're doing. Uh, so on the, on the right you have the brake and the throttle, uh, which, which your inputs on the left on the, and then the optimal inputs on the right and then your speed versus an optimal speed and also the gear U versus optimal. Uh, Earlier in the video, when we talked about um, pedal speed, that's what we're talking about here. How quickly does this play back? Uh, you can choose slow, medium, or fast. Uh, at the moment, this is a medium speed, uh, and uh, it's up to you, you know, which one you want. Uh, so you can uh, select that in the options at the beginning. And if you want to see this again, you click the show pedals again, and you can see what you're doing compared to what they're doing. And the main difference in this one is that basically I'm braking too much, uh, and I'm slowing down. Um, a bit too much, too fast, uh, and I could carry a bit more speed into this turn. Uh, and that's going to gain me, you know, a couple tenths. And that's all I need to get down to this 48.6, just a few tenths in each turn. Uh, and now you can do that in all the other ones, all the other sections of the turn too. And if I click show line for the middle of the turn, you know, it said my line was pretty good, don't, don't really need to do anything. Uh, and I could do the same thing with showing the pedal inputs. 
again, it's I'm pretty good here. My and um, I might be able to gain a little bit here because I was a bit slow. Um, but it's probably because in the previous entry phase I was breaking too much. Uh, and then look at the end. Sorry, look at the exit of the corner and see what I'm doing. And again, I'm pretty good. I could probably go out a bit farther onto this curbing, um, but overall, you know, it's going to gain maybe a tenth of a second by doing that. But still know about it. And we can look at the pedals. Uh, and again, you know, flat to the floor. So, you know, fully acceleration. So that's great. The one thing if you notice here on the speed, I am a few miles an hour slower than optimal. Again, that goes back to the entry of the turn where I was slowing down more than necessary by breaking a bit harder. So by breaking this a little bit less, I'll carry a bit more speed and gain, you know, those couple tenths. So you can use the driving instructor on any track you want. Uh, here we are at, you know, one at Road Atlanta, uh, and you can see here I'm terrible. Uh, I did a 133 and it says I should be able to do a 126. Uh, and I've got all these uh, corners basically highlighted. So basically I could improve everywhere. Um, but that's the point of the instructor to know, you know, where can you improve? Uh, and in this case, since I have a whole bunch of them, that's kind of a lot to look at. So I can change this. Maybe I only want to know the ones where I can gain half a second or in, let's see what happens. Okay. Can't gain a second anywhere, but, um, so maybe seven tenths of a second. And those are the ones I want to work on first, because that's where I'm going to gain the most amount of time, um, initially, you know, so just in this part of the S's exiting the S's and then at the end of the long straight. That's where I would concentrate my time on uh, in a case like this. And uh, another track, this is Watkins Glen. Again, I'm miles off the pace, but uh, it's the point of checking this out. And uh, you can come in here and say, okay, well, you know, the boot is, I'm sorry, the boot. <laughs> the, uh, the bus stop is a place where I definitely need to work on. So that would be one thing to look at. Uh, and these are all places, I, in this case, I can gain seven tenths per second. Um, so there's quite a few of them. Uh, and I would look at those just a few at a time and then practice those and go back out and see how I did. Uh, and you can also use this on ovals. Uh, so here we are at uh, Las Vegas uh, and I actually didn't drive this lap. So I'm just randomly chose one. Um, and uh, you know, you can zoom in here and uh, see and this is a turn where you can gain a 10th or so uh, and the same thing on this side. Uh, and like the other ones you just play the lap back. Uh, and then we go around the track and you could see, you know, where you are, um, what your line is compared to what's going on, on the track uh, and where you can improve. So here are the places that you possibly improve. So hopefully this has been a useful video. Uh, as we talked about, you know, the driving instructor is there in the analyzer. If you have a track or a pro license, if you have a standard license, you can use it at one track of your choice to see how it works. Um, it is a great tool for helping you improve and telling you where you can improve and doing it in a really easy to understand and visual way. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, you can always download the Z1 Analyzer at z1analyzer.com.